On to our developing story this evening, the election manifesto of the United People's Freedom Alliance was unveiled today. The election manifesto of the United People's Freedom Alliance, titled A Guarantee for the Future, was presented to President Maitripala Sirisena this morning at the President's official residence. The leaders of the alliance had informed the President on the development projects and the social economic program that will be initiated during the next five years. The singular copy of the election manifesto was presented to the President by General Secretary of the UPFS, Susil Premachanta, while the Tamil copy was presented by the General Secretary of the SLFP, Anuru Priyadashaniapa. Later, the elections manifesto was unveiled to the public at an event at the Hindu Pedrish grounds in Colombo. The event was held under the auspices of UPFA Kurunagla district candidate Mahindra Rajpaksa and was attended by a number of frontline leaders of the UPFA. We have learned the lessons from the past. We will remain patient when we need to. However, when we need to fight for the country, we will do so. If we need to think new, we will think new. We had the time to think new over the past six months. There is only one group in the UPFA and not two. We only have the group that is against the United National Party. The 12-point policy manifesto of the United People's Freedom Alliance titled A Guarantee for the Future elaborates on the relief that will be provided to the people. Among the relief includes the reasonable reduction in the prices of essential good items including infant milk powder, reduce the domestic water bill by 50%, provide a gas cooker and cylinder for each summer to the household and provide an allowance of 350 rupees for it. The manifesto also proposes to provide a monthly aid of 7,500 rupees for critical kidney patients and also 5,000 rupees as a special aim for families with children with special needs or parentless children. The election manifesto of the UPFA also says low-income generating families living in state-owned houses on rent or lease over 10 years will be given deeds to those very houses. The UPFA also hopes to provide expectant mothers from low-income families a monthly allowance of 1,500 rupees and recruit 25,000 midwives. It adds that an interest-free loan will be given to all advanced-level students to purchase a personal computer, while 50,000 rupees would be presented to youth between the ages of 18 and 25 to pursue their higher education. In addition, a scholarship of 10,000 rupees would be given to students who gain university access, while the Mahapala scholarship will be raised to 6,000 rupees. The election manifesto of the United People's Freedom Alliance also notes of providing a concessionary loan of 200,000 rupees for low-income families to use for their weddings.